Welcome back everyone. Hope you're enjoying my videos. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a PVP base on Arc Mobile on a Redwood Tree platform. As you can see, it's a very large base, uh, plenty of room, so it does take a lot of resources, so keep that in mind. Anyway, if you like it and it helps you out, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. All right guys, so the first thing you wanna do is place down a metal tree platform like this. Okay, now it could be any tree, you pick a tree that's good for you. Do not be close to water like this if you're in a PVP server. I just put this here, it just happened to be here, as you see there's water there. Very bad, uh, too easy to raft raid you and things like that. So don't be close to water. But, put yourself a metal, cliff pla uh, metal tree platform down. Now next thing you wanna do is you're gonna go ahead next and put your uh, wiring down right on your metal tree platform so take a intersection a wire intersection as you see I have here cable intersection and place it as close as you can like this straight down this now you have 12 points like this around or 12 like straight sections like this around the whole platform so in between one of these straight sections anyone put your cable right there right to the end as you see basically as close as you can get to that and as straight as you can get it then all you're going to do is take your cables and run them around the whole platform everywhere you can put them as close to the tree as you can just constant like this but do not let them stick off the end of the tree platform so they could be like that but don't put it like that so keep them inside just fill the whole thing with wire this will be your wiring for your base okay okay now once you have that done folks go around and put your electrical wire boxes electrical uh, outlets put them as close as you can to the outside but once again keep them on the tree platform so you can put maybe one every two wires so like one there probably skip this one go one there something like that kind of all the way right around and then do the same thing on the inside put a few around you don't need many on the inside maybe just three or four next thing you're going to do is on the this one, the one you started on, and you can do this first if you want. These wires run straight along this. They run straight back to the tree. Now right back by the tree, you're gonna wanna put yourself a generator. So place yourself a generator, and you can put it right like that. And that's how you wanna put it, right there, straight on that, okay? Now that should be nice right there. Now that will power all of your boxes. Turn that on, and that powers your whole floor. Everything is powered, and that's nice. Now, next thing we're gonna do is you wanna go to the, these got these, like I said, 12 straight points like this. So you wanna go to any one of these straight points. And you can do this in wood and thatch. You're gonna need a lot of thatch foundations and wood pillars because you're gonna destroy them. This is just to get your right height. Now, I might as well show you, you can snap walls right to the outside of a tree platform um, but to give it added protection we're going to do this so take yourself a wooden pillar place it in the middle the middle snap point not there and not not here right in the middle of one of these straight points on the outside the flat area as you see in between the two points and flat right in the middle put one two pillars high now this is the way you can get a snap point of a foundation on a tree platform otherwise you could just put foundations where you want but if you want snap points this is the only way that you can do it so you put two pillars high right there then you could come straight back off of that and put a foundation now then what we're going to do you could destroy those pillars don't need them there anymore and your foundation will stay but that's it's too high i mean you can do it but it's it's no good so we're going to lower the foundation this one eight times so I'll go ahead and do that, lower that eight times. Okay, so after you've lowered it eight times and just stay in the same area, you can just go side to side, back and forth here, boom, 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 boom. Uh, you have this and you can go the, the eighth time, you can go with a, your metal foundation, your final foundation. Now, 
leave it right there your pillars were here when we started and we ended up with this it's lowered eight times now you can lower it one more time only would be nine times but don't do that like you can just you can continue this floor obviously all the way around but it's not going to be the right shape of the tree platform so to keep the proper shape you have to do the same thing come to the next one right on the outside edge two pillars high another foundation and lower it again boom 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 eight times again so do every one of these all the way around eight times till you have a foundation metal like that and i'll do that and bring you guys back all right so at this point you should have like this one of these on every spot all the way around every, all 12 lower it eight times now what you can do now is go ahead and just fill the rest in with metal foundations. Now you wanna go, you can go one out further, you should go one out further like that. And then, but what you wanna do is from your original one here, make sure you have a line straight all the way back to the tree as close as you can get it. You're not gonna be able to go all the way in most spots, but go all the way back uh, on each one to the tree and then all the way around and then just fill in like in here as much as you can but make sure on the outside you always have at least your three and three you can definitely do each one like this one out further one side three and three you can have three wide at all of these out here so make sure you do that now you can't fill this spot we'll do that in a minute but so one line all the way back three and three out here and then just fill in in here as much as you can you're not gonna be able to fill it all in because you know clipping issues but just fill as much as you can in but make sure like don't continue that after the three you want to go to this next spot here so go one here and make sure they're th three wide from each one that you sunk three wide on the, on the end two back and then I'll align all the way back okay so do that all the way around and I'll bring you right back the two by three on each of every one and you'll see filled back the rest straight back the center line and then fill in the rest the best you can. Now, that's pretty good. That's gonna protect all your wiring. Uh, not quite, you have these gaps. So all you'll do for all these gaps, wherever these gaps are, you can't put foundations on. You just simply throw down your ceiling on top of that. Every one of those. If you wanna do it in a nice fancy, you know, some kind of an order, that's fine too. But you just put ceilings down to cover these holes. Every place there's a hole like that. So you just throw down your ceilings and then uh, that'll That'll cover your holes. Now, next thing we're going to do, we're going to go up with our walls from the end of this. But before we put walls there, we're going to take a pillar and place it right here at each one of these points around, as you see here. So you're going to put a pillar, then you're going to put a metal ceiling on top of it, like that, okay? Then, from there, you can put, put your walls here now, because you're going to wall this whole thing in. But to put your wall and then you can put a wall on top of that and below that as well hang one down right there now this has to stay this pillar and ceiling has to stay and that gives you a nice perfect tight closure right around here so that's what you want to have so go around and put a pillar and a ceiling in every one of these spots uh, like that the pillar clips to the outside and your ceiling goes right on that if you want to do it more, it's going to be more costly, but you once you put your pilling, pillar and ceiling like that, you can take fence foundations and put one there. Obviously put them, put them here, here, everywhere. Put one on here as well, on the other side. And then you can double wall this. If you really want to be, you know, like really extra good about it, you can double wall it. So you put your fence foundation, you put wall there facing out, wall there facing out, and you have double walls. Then you can destroy this metal fence foundation and you don't need that anymore, the walls will stay. Now, put this back here. Now, you can do that and then you can also, your walls will hang down the same way. One, two, facing out. So, if you really want to, this is up to you. It's gonna be better, definitely, but it's gonna cost you a lot more. Now, you're gonna need hundreds of walls already. I didn't even count up the material, you're gonna need a lot just for single walling it like this. So. It's up to you, but if you want to double wall it, you can certainly go ahead and double wall it like that with fence foundations. So the next thing you'll do, like I said, you got to put this pillar and ceiling at each one of these. If you want to double wall it, then you'll take your fence foundations, put them all the way around the edge and up on top the edge of your ceiling. 
and then simply run your walls as high as they'll go from this as high as I'll go, double or single, whatever you want to do, run up as high as you go. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll bring you guys back. Lots of space in here as you can see. The floor is finished the best you can do. And make sure these stay here because it's just holding up that part of your wall. Now that's as high as you can go. Now also, I didn't mention as well, uh, wherever you want to put your door, um, you can put a dinosaur gate right here. So Leave one of your spots out between two pillars like that and take yourself a dinosaur gate and just put it right on the edge, right like that. Snap a dinosaur gate in there and then we'll snap a second one because gates are always what people try to attack. So you'll want to put two gates right like that. If you want to put a third one, you can do it. In fact, I probably would, especially if you double wall it, you probably want to put a third gate. If you single wall it, two gates is enough. It's stronger than single walls anyway. So put your two gates there. Then you can finish your wall up around it. And pop your gates in like that. Boom, boom. Two gates. Very nice. And then just finish your walls up. Now, this one can go all the way up. This one, you'll have to put some ceilings across. So, grab yourself some ceilings. And you'll have to stick some ceilings across to put this wall, the rest of these walls across. So, just do like that. And then, you should be good to go right there. Boom, boom. And just take that all the way up. Okay, so now at this point you'll have this. This is as high as you can go with your walls. Now what you'll want to do next is come to one of your places directly above one of your pillars. So as you can see, I have a pillar, a ceiling here. So come straight up from that and put yourself a ceiling on the outside. It could just be thatch or whatever. It's just going to be for you to stand on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stand here. Now this is how we're going to put our roof on here. Now, as you recall, the pillars were right on the points. So this is the easiest way that I found to do it. So grapple up here, whatever. Put yourself a ceiling here on the outside. Take another metal platform and you're going to clip it to this. Now, clip it to the tree. Now, as you can see, you can adjust where it is. And you want to line this point up right in the center here the best you can. Now, so when you get it where you want it, place it down. Try to get it right evenly exactly in the center so it matches the bottom. That's pretty good. Now one thing to note, it depends on the height of your tree. If you pick the taller tree to build on, your walls won't come up this close. Your walls might be down three or four walls lower. I mean, you could still come up that high, but the tree platform on the taller tree will be up higher. So you'll have a three or four wall gap here perhaps. But no big deal. So that's just something you, you might, if you pick a short tree, it'll almost come all the way up like this one. Okay, now once you have your tree platform here, you need to finish closing this off. So what you're gonna, you can then destroy this anytime you want, no big deal, we're, we're done with this. But now, come on up top, and you're gonna do the same thing to get a snap point. So we're gonna go right like we did before, let's do it here. Uh, put your two pillars right in the center of a straight spot, two pillars high, come back, and put your thatch foundation. Now, you can destroy these pillars. Now you're gonna have to do that once again on every spot all the way around, two pillars, and put a foundation. Now if you want, you can just leave a foundation like that and cover the whole thing like that. That's fine up here. But what you need to be concerned with is you're gonna put metal foundations up here. You're gonna put one, you're not gonna put one on the outside this time. So you'll put this one all the way around in this spot and next you're just going to hang a ceiling off of it. So you put the first one just to try it out. Depends on how high your tree is. So you put your ceiling hanging off, you're going to hang walls down from that. That's how you're going to close it off. So if you put a wall like you see I did there, there's a space there. Now you can't put a second wall as you see here. So you need to play with it depending how high your, this, this top tree platform goes. You need to play with this to figure out where you need it. So you don't want to go higher with that in the foundation. So I need to lower the foundation enough to this wall is 
meeting right on top of this wall. So that's what you have to do. So for mine, it looks like I got to lower it quite a bit. So I'm going to do that. So do this with thatch, obviously. Just do one to try it out. And then you can go from there. So I'm going to lower it to where it needs to be and I'll show you. Okay, so now I lowered it down to where I, trying it out, it looks like it should work. I had done, done it with thatch. Now I ended up lowering it eight times just like we did on the bottom. But it, like I said, it'll depend on your tree, how much you have to lower it or, you know, adjust it accordingly. So now I have it where I want. So when, once you get it where you want, you put your metal foundation. You can, you can just destroy your thatch. Then instead of putting more on the outside like we did before, you'll just put a ceiling out there now. And then you can hang your walls down. Now as you'll see, uh, I have them right there. So right there it'll work. If you put it there, it won't. It's trying to snap to the bottom walls and that's it can't go that high. But if you get the right snap point, you just hang it from the ceiling, it will work. You see it's slightly overlapped on the bottom wall so we have a nice tight co coverage. And you can do that. So there you'll be your nice seal. Now that's what you'll do all the way around. You'll have to do that once again, all 12, lower it to the proper height that you find works. Each one all the way around and just on your outside one, hang a ceiling like that and then hang your wall and that'll be fine. So it's very important that you do this in the correct order or else these things won't work right. So you find the height you need with your floor. Perfect. Once you have the height tested out, you need to unconnect these walls. Like you can't have these walls connecting here. Otherwise, if you see how I did there, so I put two floors coming out with ceilings, connected them. Now you need to continue this all the way around. So you put your next floor there, your third one, then you go to hang a ceiling off and it won't go. It's because it thinks it's too high because when you do that, these walls actually connect, they're connected to the ceiling, but they also lock into these bottom walls. For example, if I demolish this ceiling, these walls will stay. So they're actually setting on, they tie in there, they connect to the bottom walls. So you have to put, as you sink your one to the proper height in the middle, you put your three foundation, you have to do it as, as all three at once. So you do three foundations, put three foundations down. We just get rid of these walls here. And then you have to put all three ceilings across. And then you can hang your three walls and then move to the next one. So, as you see now, I, I couldn't put the ceiling before, but now I could put one, two, and three. It goes because they're not connected. It's only connected to the top. And then, now you can put your walls uh, down here. Put them right and all your walls will fit right across there just fine and you'll be nice and dandy. But make sure you do it like I told you. Now once you do that, then when you get to these places here, these are a little tricky. So what you have to do with this is you will take a pillar and you'll place a pillar here like we did down bottom. But now what you'll do next, put a ceiling on top like that. And then you need to get walls. Okay, so you hang your walls down on the outside. Now this time it'll be two walls and it'll tie. Now this second one is a little finicky sometimes. So you might have to play with it. Sometimes it doesn't snap or wants to, to destroy itself. So you might, have to, you might actually waste a few doing this. But as you see it did there, it just didn't do it. But it will go. Sometimes it takes a few tries to get the right position. There it goes. Now once it's done like that, you can leave this, but I don't like to do that because it blocks your turrets. It, it has a chance of blocking your turrets a little bit more. So I like to destroy this wall and then you have this hole here that I don't like. So you can just leave that. It's not really a problem. Or you can also put a ceiling here, but as you see, I can't attach a ceiling anymore because the walls are connected. So you have to do, the way you do this is do a block of three like that, then do this post down, then do the next block of three, then do the post down, 
So you work your way around. So for example, if I get rid of these walls, I will be able to put a ceiling across to block a little more of this. See, I could put, I can't hook it there because of the walls are still on that left side, but I can hook it to this one. So I like to do that. And then you go ahead and put your walls over here. So I showed you how to not do it. So that's, this is how you do it. So you do a block of three, boom, boom, all three foundations, all three ceilings, three walls down. Then you come to your post here, hang your two walls down, demolish this top wall, then you could put these three over here, these three ceilings, three foundations, three ceilings, extend this one more this way, and then you could put these walls down over here and move on to the next one. So you put these three walls here, and then you would move on over here to put your post, hang your two walls down, destroy the top wall, and then put your foundation ceilings out before you put your walls down put your fourth ceiling across to block it in. Now that leaves it like this and this little tiny hole here isn't isn't a problem at all. Nothing can be can really happen to that. Now this this here you'll leave this post and uh, and the ceiling on top because we're going to use that for our turrets layer. So just go ahead and leave that. You'll you can use that for turrets. So that's what you'll do all the way around like I showed you. It's kind of confusing. Hopefully you understood what I was explaining it to you and you'll have a nice finished look like this all the way around. Then when you get it done all the way around like that, you just fill back like we did down bottom, uh, fill in with these towards the tree, a straight line, and then each one a straight line back from the middle one, and then just fill in the best you can with foundations in the middle here, and then fill in the rest holes with ceilings. So then after you have that done, you're gonna come inside, and you're gonna wanna put a pillar, metal pillar, right in your middle floor here, in your between each of these pillars that you already have, right in the middle, place a pillar, just one pillar right there in the middle. So do that on every one around, all the way around. Then you'll come outside, underneath. Now, because we want to protect this, because as you can see, you can still see the tree platform here. It can take damage here. Now this is, you don't have to do this, but if you want to protect the underneath of your tree platform, I suggest you do this. This part you don't have to protect, it's nothing. You can go right through it. This part can't take any damage. Only the actual flat floor can take damage. So, what you're gonna wanna do now, being that we sunk those to that level, the floors, they protect the outside edge here, as you can see. Now, this is our post we placed all the way around, that run right there. So you'll extend that pillar down two more. One, two. And then you can take and put a ceiling up as high as it'll go. It'll only go in one spot, right there. And we're going to fill it back with ceilings. Now that, as you can see, is right. That's the tightest you can, closest you can get it up under here. The ceilings right there. So we can fill the whole thing underneath with ceilings. So you have that like that then. Then you go, we don't do the ones on the point here. But we go and do the next one here in the flat space again. You come over to it. Two pillars down. And a ceiling. Now each one of these ceilings, you can go straight back with ceilings, connecting them all the way to the tree, as close as you can get. There, and do the same on this one, straight back. Sometimes it's a little finicky to get it right in there, but it will work. Just move around a little bit, you'll get them. A little different position, and you'll be fine. Like that. Now once you get that, you'll have two lines coming back, as you can see. From that point, you'll just fill in between them. Now with these, you can fill all the way. So you'll go one here, one here, and just fill back on each side straight until you have it all filled in. These will overlap enough to where usually you can fill in the whole thing with them, or just about the whole thing. If you get them on the right side, like there, we can go there. This one, we can go on that one. And then you have a solid covering all the way back to the tree, as close as you can get it. And now out here, now if you want to close this point off here, you can simply just run a ceiling on that, kind of like we did up top, and that will close that off like that. Okay, so do that all the way around, and then you have a nice solid, but then when you have it all the way around, you'll have the back like this. 
Now what you'll do to close the bottom of this, block this part off, you'll just take metal ramps and simply attach them all the way around here wherever you can. like that. And the same thing, you just put them around here wherever you can and you will be able to put quite a few to close off most of this gap around the tree. Maybe not quite all of it, but you can usually do most of it. So then you have the bottom all protected as you see here. Very good. Now just place those ramps the best you can around your tree back here. You might not be perfect, but you'll have it pretty well covered most, most of the spots around. So next you want to come out to the outside again. You have a little bit more to do. And we're going to go up here. What you're going to do is you can do this in that. You'll need a bunch of ceilings. And you put ceilings on right off of your foundations like this all the way around. So you can place them on your, on the three foundations like this. And then what you'll do, they can be thatched. What you'll do is put a wall there, as you see, uh, face it out, boom. You could do it all the way around, put a wall, face it out, place it, and then you can go ahead and destroy these ceilings. That's what I said, do it in thatch, and your wall will stay there and completely seal this off down to your ceilings here. Now you have this here, you can simply take a wall and put it right there. Now that's a little bit not perfect, but it's the best you could do and it's, it's pretty good really. If there's a spot where it doesn't quite work, like let's say here under the door, you can't quite get a ceiling there. You can just put it on the bottom and that'll work just as well. Set your wall on top, face it out, place it there, and that'll work the same way and you can destroy your ceiling. So do that all the way around. You'll have a nice tight base like that. Okay, so then now you're ready for your turrets. So off of your pillar that you drop to hang your, hang your ceilings underneath, this one in the, in the middle that you drop down, you will add a pillar to it or two until you have enough to where you could snap a ceiling to it like that. So once you could snap a ceiling, then you can go ahead and demolish the bottom pillar and you won't need that one. There's your ceiling. And then you'll take these giant metal hat frames and place it on the farthest out point like this of your ceiling. So you'll have just like that. And then you can go ahead and place a turret on each one of them. Right out on the outside like this. And aim it out. As you can see it is powered because we have our generator on and it can easily reach the wiring in the floor. Now this turret can shoot all the way up on the sides. It can also shoot underneath all the way back to the tree, all the way below it, everything out here. So it's very well in a good position to see everything and protect your base. So do that on every one of these around here. Okay, so when you come in, we'll have our generator here. It's powering everything down there, but we want to get power to the top as well. So an easy way to do that, as well as to guard the generator and the cabling, we're going to keep that protected as well. So first off, you come in here, if you use these metal fence foundations, you can place one like here, and usually I can slant one back like that, and that'll be so you can put a wall back to protect the generator, at least mostly. Same on this side, put one, slant one back. Now, that will protect the generator pretty well there. You can go up higher if you need to, and stuff like that. Now, but what mainly what you want to do, obviously build out around the front of here later. If you can't put a wall some places like this, you can simply put a fence foundation, perhaps like that, coming off of the other fence foundation, and then you can place a wall on that. But this one wall, you should be able to get at least this one. So you put that there, obviously, and you could put a door in here to get to your generator. But then what you'll want to do is put a ceiling on that here, like this. Go up on top of there, and you can't put a ceiling directly in the back of it, but you can put two like this. So that's what I usually do, put two there. And that will guard it pretty well. You can't get in here too well, so that's pretty protected in there. So anyway, what you do then, once you have that, now, as you can see, if I take a cable, it will connect to the, we want to put it so it, comes right up out of the center of the generator like that. Okay, but don't put it yet because first off, we're gonna need to protect it. So to protect it, we need to come up on top here and it sticks through right here where these ceilings meet. So, but you can't, you can't put a pillar right where you need to. So put down right here 
either way. Usually, I, you could put it that way. I usually put it this way. It seems to work a little better. A metal fence foundation. Then you can place a pillar right on the center of it right there. And then put yourself a cable just to go check that that will hide the cable. It should if you do it right. Make sure it's coming. You got to be careful because it'll, it will snap to these other points as well. You want it to come right out of your center of your generator. So if you put it right there, that I believe went in there. And so then it's hidden inside of this, okay? And that's what you want. So, but you can't put it first. You have to put your pillars first, because if you try to put your, where is it going? If you try to see, there it is right there. I mean, clearly it's powered. And that's just what you want, right inside of there to protect it. But if you try to put that first, you can't always put your, uh, sometimes you can like this, and if it works, that's great. And put your wiring and then put your metal pillar up but to get it started a lot of times here you have to put your pillar first usually and then your wiring up through it so that's what you want to do run your wiring all the way up and then run your metal metal pillars up on top of it to enclose your wiring now also if you build floors in here other floors this is how you can tie off of this to wire power your other floors because this is very big you can clearly put many floors in here this could power your other floors as well so run this all the way up as high as you can go. And then as you can see, you pillar up as well, just to protect it as high as you can go. Now don't put any pillars up there. You don't really need to. Once you're up here, that's pretty good. Pretty much all you can do. Now, once you get up right as close as you can up underneath your uh, ceiling, you put coming off of that wiring, you'll put these. Now I already put these wires here, as you can see, these are mine fit so close up into there that I can place them but I can't actually see them anymore but they're still powered and that's fine so run them up there depending on the height of your tree this could be a little bit different you might have you know a little bit of separation here but it doesn't really matter no big deal and then once you get out here you just place your wire boxes like that keep your wiring once again right inside of the just inside of the of the walls and then place your wiring boxes as you see as I have done here every two or three wires all the way around. Okay, so then now we have our power up top. I'm gonna to come back up here and we're gonna take a turret and see if we can place it up here. Now depending once again on the height of your tree, as you can see I can't because some places I can't here because there's too many turrets down bottom. So here I can, here I can't, some places I can. But if it's like this, if you have a taller tree, if it's green everywhere, you're fine. You can go for it. You can simply stick your hatch frame off the end and put your turrets. But if it's kind of like this, where some places you can, some places you can't, as you can see here, uh, that's too risky. You want to be able to put as many turrets as you can. So it's better if you just simply demolish this metal ceiling here and just go one higher, just to give yourself a little leeway. So you can uh, easily one higher, maybe two higher if you want. That would be fine as well. No big deal. Put a ceiling on top. Because these are, of course, these are our pillars that we had uh, up here from when we did our walls. So you go up on top of this, and then you want to get it to where you can put a turret anywhere you want. So this is pretty good. You might even go one higher to make sure you can get the maximum amount of turrets. Because one pillar higher is not going to, you know, affect your turret range much at all. So I went ahead and went two pillars higher. So added two on to our original pillars that we had up from the walls. Put a ceiling on that. Stuck a hatch frame off each one and put your turret on there accordingly. So as you can see here, that's what I did. And I have to put my last turret so we can place it here. Now you can put, it is pretty good, but with, uh, and as you can see, they do reach, easily reach the wiring down there. So it's done. And I covered this, this is what you wanna do. Now you can put some pillars, like if you drop a few pillars down here somewhere, put a ceiling on it, put a few X plants around back here, that would be a good idea as well. Doesn't hurt. So as you can see, as I said, there's 12 spots around here. So we have 12 turrets all the way around here. Now 10 is the max you can put in area, but since this circle is so big around here, you can fit 12 turrets all the way around here. And just fine, as you see here, 12 turrets, each one on a thing. Now you can't really get any more than that. And it'll be the same down bottom. You'll get 12, you get one all the way around. So you might have to move them a little bit. As you saw it, I was placing that one. I couldn't quite place it everywhere, but you can get 12 here, 12 bottom, 12 top. Every, every pillar down 
every hatch frame can have one on there. That is usually all you can get. Sometimes if you have a taller tree, you may get a few more. So you might put a couple more scattered around down bottom, a couple more up top, depending on the tree. Sometimes you can get a few more, but not usually. Now one more thing I would mention, this base has about 24 turrets on it, which is about all you can put on it. Now that's a pretty good amount, but in PvP, you'd like to have a lot more than that, ideally. So what I recommend, or what I would do is go to a tree that's a little distance away, like maybe this one, let's say. That one might be a little close, probably. Maybe this one. And I would put another tree platform here. Now, all I would do with this tree platform is make this strictly like, like a turret tower. So, in other words, you have more turret towers. Every tree around your base, you can just go out further and further with turret towers, as you can see here. You can put generator, you can make a uh, box it in, safe all your wiring, hang turrets all the way around this thing and have every tree all the way out further and further can be each one a turret tower. You can have one bottom and one up top again. So you can have turrets all around you so they can't even get close to your base in the first place. And that's what I would highly recommend doing as well. After you build your base, work out from your base as quick as you can with like this and make every tree its own turret tower. So this is pretty much the end result guys. Uh, as you can see, pretty good, uh, about the best redwood tree base you can make. Pretty much the best base you can make. So very big inside as well. And you can make multiple floors. This one is about 12 walls high, I believe. So you could do quite a few floors in here, actually. And uh, obviously you have ramps up, whatever you need. You can really do a lot in here. Put an elevator, put ramps, whatever you want, you can do a lot. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.